we would now want to take a look at another example of a question involving vertical circular motion and projectiles. So we're going to be working on this question here. It says a particle P of mass M is attached to one end of a light inextensible string of length A. The other end of the string is attached to a fixed point O. The string is held taut with OP horizontal. The particle P is projected vertically downwards with speed root of a third AG and starts to move in a vertical circle. P passes through the lowest point of the circle and reaches the point Q where OQ makes an angle theta with the downward vertical. At Q, the speed of P is root KAG and the tension in the string is 11 over 6 mg. So on part A, find the value of K and the value of cos theta. All right. So we're going to start by illustrating what we have been given. So we have circular motion here. This is the center of the circle. And according to what's been given in the question, we have a fixed point or where the string is attached. So that's right at the center here. So that's all. And the string is held taut. Okay, according to this part, the string is held with OP horizontal. So we have this, okay. So the particle is here like this, okay. That's the particle P. So from here, the question says that the particle P is projected vertically downwards with the speed of root at third AG. So there's projection here vertically downwards and the speed is root of a third AG. All right. Um, they say that the particle moves in a vertical circle and P passes through the lowest point of the circle and reaches the point Q where OQ makes an angle theta with the downward vertical. All right. So we have the downward vertical here. And the point Q where the particle eventually will be at. So the particle will be here. And this is Q. All right. And they say that the string will be making an angle theta with the downward vertical. They also say here that at Q, the speed of P will be root KAG. All right. So the speed here, which is tangential, to the circular path is root KAG. And they also say that the tension in the string will be 11 over six. So here we'll be having that tension T, all right. So I think with what we have, we can now answer the question. They say we should find the value of K and the value of cos theta, all right. So when we are solving these problems, we know that we have to focus on two main things. Um, first one is Newton's second law. And the second thing is we also have to consider energy. So energy considerations. So we're going to start with considering Newton's second law. Okay. And we will do that um, for the point where the particle is at Q, where at Q, the forces at play will be the tension in the string and also the weight of the particle acting vertically downwards. Um, that the particle has a mass of m, so the weight is mg, all right? So we are going to extend so that we have the components of mg, one in the line of action, uh, line in line with t, and the other one perpendicular to that. So we have a little right angle here. And we know that this little angle here is actually uh, theta because they're corresponding angles. So essentially, if we resolve in the direction of T towards the center, we'll be having T minus mg cos of theta. And this is going to be equal to the mass times acceleration, which is m of the speed v squared over the radius. And the radius of the vertical circle, have we been told, 
yes, the length of the string is A, so it's over A, all right? Now, um, this is like T minus MG cos theta is equal to M over A of, for V squared, the speed is at Q is root KAG, so a square of that will just be KAG, all right? So we are going to divide this goes in once. So basically, we will be saying that T minus MG cos theta is equal to uh, KMG, okay? KMG, all right? So this is what we have right here. Right, so we also need to consider that we've actually been given the value of the tension, all right? So the, the tension is 11 over 6. So 11 over 6 mg minus mg cos theta is equal to kmg, all right? And um, with what we have, we can divide all the terms by mg. So by mg all the way. So with this, we can actually have k being equal to 11 over 6 minus cos of theta. So that's what k will be. Let's just call this equation 1. All right. Now, since we've um, considered Newton's second law, let's now go on to look at the principle of conservation of energy, where we're going to say that um, the initial energy which is at this point uh, where it's, it starts, that is where it is projected from, is equal to the energy at Q. So essentially we are saying for the initial energy, the kinetic energy is going to be half M of V squared. The speed is this. So squared is just going to be half, actually a third of AG. And if we take this level to be the h equal to zero, then the initial gravitational potential energy is going to be zero. And that's equal to the energy at Q is going to be half m of the speed is this. So squared is going to be just k a g. And that's going to be plus the gravitational potential energy. Now, we know that the distance from h equal to zero is going to be this distance. And we know that the radius is a. So that's a cos theta. So it's mg. Actually, it's minus mg. All right. So let's put a minus here. So that's minus mg of a cos theta. All right. So we essentially have a sixth of MGA is equal to a half of KMGA minus MGA cos theta. If we divide everything by MGA, we will be having a sixth being equal to half K, and that's going to be minus cos theta. All right. So this is what we'll be having. So essentially, we are saying, if we multiply everything by 2 here, we will be having, okay, if we say this side by 2, this side by 2, we'll be having a third being equal to k minus 2 cos theta. And we can make k the subject, which is um, a third plus 2 cos theta. So that's going to be equation two. And um, we can say equation one is equal to equation two uh, because they are all k equals to something. So we can say that a third plus two cos theta is equal to 11 over six minus cos theta, which will be three cos theta is equal to 11 over six minus a third. So that's going to be 9 over 6, basically, which is 3 over 2. So basically, cos theta 
is going to be a half if we divide both sides by 3. So we now have here the value of cos theta. All right. So if we take any other, any one of the two equations, if we take, say, the second equation, uh, we can now say that k is equal to a third plus two of cos theta, which is a half. So um, we get one here. A third plus one is four over three. So k is four over three right here. K, that's the value of k. So we've we now have the answers. They wanted the value of k and the value of cos theta, and that's what we now have. So these are the answers. Let's move on to part B. Part B says, at Q, the particle P becomes detached from the string. In the subsequent motion, find the greatest height reached by P above the level of the lowest point of the circle. All right. So they say at Q, the particle becomes detached, okay, which means that the particle will begin to move in um, as a projectile. So the particle should go like this, okay, in the form of a projectile. Let me just create a bit of space here. So remember, this is root, K-A-G, and it is going to reach its maximum height, okay, here. So here, this will be um, H marks, okay, the maximum height. And um, the angle of projection, this angle here, all right, is going to be theta. Considering that we have a right angle here between the tangent, okay, uh, V, which is root KIG, and the radius. And this angle is 90 minus theta. So since angles on a straight line add up to 180, this angle should therefore be theta, okay, for that reason. All right, so anyways, um, that's what we have right here. So the question is again saying that um, in the subsequent motion, we should find the greatest height reached by P above the level of the lowest point of the circle, okay? So let's find the maximum height. Um, we know that the formula for maximum height is U sine theta squared, and that's over 2G. So if we're going to find H, okay, and when we say H, we are talking about, okay, I'm going to remove the marks here, and we're just going to say that um, the height, this height here, is the maximum height, and I'm just going to call that H, okay? So H is going to be equal to u sine theta u is the speed of projection when the particle becomes detached at, at q which is this speed here so that's u so that's root k a g so that's what we got here so um root of k a g and that's of sine theta okay so sine theta o squared and that's going to be over 2g. So this is going to be equal to here squaring. That's going to be kag of sine squared theta. And that's over 2g. Now we got k to be 4 over 3 right here. So we have 4 over 3 of ag. And that's of sine squared theta. Here we had gotten that cos theta is a half. So if cos theta is a half, that means that um, if this is theta, then cosine is one, two. So the third side by Pythagoras theorem is root three, which means that sine theta is root three over two. Okay, and that's gonna be root three over two and squared, all right? And that's gonna be over two G, all right? So what we have is essentially four AG, over 3 times 3 over 4 and um, that's divided by 2g so it's times 1 over 2g basically so we're saying that 3 goes into so we're saying that 3 goes into 3 once 
4 into 4 once, g into g once, and what remains is just a over 2, all right? We just get a over 2 eventually. That's h, okay? So we have h being um, a over 2 or, or half a, but the question says here, that we should find the greatest height reached by P above the level of the lowest point of the circle. So the lowest point of the circle or the level of the lowest point of the circle is this particular level. Okay, so this here is the level. So what the question wants is this whole height. So to find this whole height, we need to find what this other little height is, all right? So we know that this is the radius A, and uh, this particular part is actually A cos of theta, which means this height that we want is going to be the whole radius A, subtract A cos of theta. All right. So to get the whole height from the bottom of the circle to the highest point, we are going to say that's like h plus a minus a cos theta, basically. All right. So let's work with that. So for the total height required, that's going to be h plus a minus a cos theta. All right. Now we know that h is a over two, right? Which is basically half a, and that's gonna be plus a, and that's gonna be um, minus a of cos theta. Now we got cos theta to be a half, right? So it's gonna be here, half a, all right? So like this, and we are going to get the height just to be a, all right? So the answer here is actually a. That's the height above the lowest point as required by the question. And that's how we do it.